In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I recommend, some gift guide options for the person who loves makeup in your life. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Hannah and I upload beauty videos every Monday and Friday, so feel free to stick around and subscribe. Also, if you like this, if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. If you want to see my gift guide recommendations, make sure you keep on watching. The first thing that I'm going to recommend is a good lip combo. Now, I know that I mentioned this in my November favorite shameless plug. If you missed that, I will link it in the eye up above as well as in the description box down below. I have some good recommendations in there as well. But this lip combo is from Urban Decay and I love it for several reasons because one, especially the Urban Decay 24 seven lip pencil makes your lip color last for so long. It gets crazy, but it's not drying. So I love that it has the staying power option, but also it's not like drying. It's very creamy. It glides on perfectly. I specifically love and recommend this shade. It's Naked 2 because it's a good nude option. And especially if they don't have any lip liners or if they are wanting one that they can wear a lot, I recommend this one because I think it's a great everyday kind of color. And I love pairing this with the Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Carnal. This is also a nude. It's a little bit deeper, but it is still a very wearable color. Obviously, it's not the color that I have on my lips today. But I did want to recommend this to you guys because also the lipstick is also kind of moisturizing as in it doesn't, you know, dry out your lips as well. Urban Decay has a huge selection of both lip pencil colors and lipstick colors. So I will definitely make sure to link down below where you can check that out. But also, if I can find this, hopefully they do every now and then, I think specifically on the Urban Decay website, they actually have like a duo where you can buy the lip pencil and a lipstick together and you save money that way. But obviously they don't have as like wide of a shade range, but that is a great way to save money because for example, if you're buying them full price, which around this time of year, you might be able to catch something on sale, but full price, the lip pencil is, I think around 21 or $22, and then the lipstick I think is $19. Normally though, if, you're not, if you are new to my channel and you aren't aware, normally I try to buy my makeup on sale, especially higher end makeup like that. But those are a great option that I wanted to start off with. The next thing that I wanna mention is more of a luxury product, and that is from Lush. This is a soap and I believe it is called Maypole that my friend Sarah got me for my birthday. Obviously I cut off a piece and this is the soap that I'm currently using. It smells so good. To me, this smells exactly like the scent Twisted Peppermint from Bath and Body Works, which is actually the candle that I have burning behind me. It just, it's make, it makes me so happy. I usually only use that scent around this time of year because I don't know, for whatever reason, like they kind of like puts me in the Christmas mood, like nothing against the Christmas mood, but I just don't know if I wanna be in the Christmas mood in like June. Anyway, but I love this scent because it literally smells like peppermint, but like sweet. And normally, hear me out, normally I'm not a huge fan of like overly sweet scents, but like for whatever reason, this I make an exception. Also, this will last a really long time and this is kind of like something more of a luxury gift. I mean, at least for me. So I wanted to mention that I love it. Highly, highly, highly recommend. And of course, you know, while we're on the topic, you could just get them the Twisted Peppermint candle from Bath & Body Works, or you could get them both. And I know scent is something that is kind of more specific to a person, but if they like peppermint, perhaps they would like Twisted Peppermint. While we're while we're on the topic, uh, I didn't, uh, didn't know until yesterday that, well, I mean, I guess it makes sense, but I wasn't completely aware of this, the fact that they actually have the Twisted Peppermint body cream. And um, yeah, this makes me very happy. And I was very, very pleased to find that they had this in the body cream option. Also a great gift. Um, but it's sometimes you might wanna, not wanna just do the lotion alone. So maybe like the lotion and the candle together or the lotion and the soap. I know they're like different brands, but the scent is similar. Anyway, I would highly recommend those options as well. If you're getting value from this video, Make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it personally because it does really help me out tremendously. Now let's go into the next gift idea. Something that I feel like might not be something that you might not think about or anyway. I also mentioned this in my favorites, but that is the setting spray. This is the four fluid ounce. They actually have the eight ounce version, which obviously like if you buy the larger size, you get a better deal. But I mean, I know you wouldn't want to get an eight ounce 
setting spray if you're not sure if they like that so maybe just get the four ounce one but if you know that they like the urban decay all-nighter setting spray you can actually get an eight ounce size of this i think it's like 42 or 43 dollars which i know might sound crazy but like listen the four ounce is literally is 33 dollars and then for like ten dollars more you can double the size so if you know that they like it I would recommend getting the 8 ounce one. The Obviously that setting spray would last them for a very, very long time. I've spoken about the Urban Decay setting spray so many times on my channel, but I love it because I think that it just really does make your makeup last for an extremely long time. I've worn this to the beach and my makeup was still there afterwards. Like, you know, most of my makeup was still intact afterwards, which is crazy. And also the actual like setting spray in the bottle does last a long time as well. That's another gift that I wanted to recommend maybe for, you know, something that you might not normally think of. The next thing that I want to uh, recommend, I know I mentioned this in my gift guide last year, but I still love it so much. I use this literally like every day or almost every day. This is the Clarisonic Mia. Now this I'm pretty sure I've had for almost two years and this was a Christmas present. And I know, I feel like a lot of the times, you know, they might say that, you know, like you don't remember what you got for Christmas last year or whatever, but especially for items like this, like, yes, I do. This is still wet because I used it this morning. But anyway, um, I highly recommend the Clarisonic Mia because it does really get your makeup clean. And also it's something, this is something that is a little bit more expensive. I think the cheapest one, if you don't find it on sale, is $99. And I know that that's a little bit more of a splurge item, but like you can see, you know, for example, two years later, I'm still using it. I think it does a great job at getting your makeup off. And also I use it in the morning to just really get my skin at the next level of clean. And I just, I don't know, I can't say enough good things about it. I love my Clarisonic Mia. I think it does a great job at washing my face. And also it's nice to get somebody something for Christmas that they probably wouldn't buy for themselves. I don't know, that's just not something that I would personally get for myself, but I greatly appreciate it. And I love that I got it as a gift. The next thing that I wanna recommend is something if they do already have the Clarisonic is to get a brush head. And right now on the Ulta website, I was just looking yesterday, they actually have a deal where you can get a brush head and then a four ounce cleanser. They have like a couple different options, maybe for the the person's specific skin type. They have a couple different options where you can get a brush head and then a four ounce cleanser for the price of one brush head, at least. So for example, hear me out. So one of the Daily Radiance, this is a two pack, but just one of the Daily Radiance brushes cost $29. I know that like, I don't know, for me personally, I don't like buying the brushes, but I do, they recommend changing every three months and that is what I do, but because you know, it's just necessary. But, so if they do already have the Clarisonic, I would maybe recommend getting them a brush head because you can also get a brush head and a cleanser for the same price as one brush head. So you could get, I know for example, they have the option of getting the Ra Daily Radiance brush head, which is this specific one, and then a four ounce cleanser for $29. And I just think that that's a good idea and something also maybe, you know, some people might not always think of, but I think that it makes a great gift for Christmas as well. Next up, I want to talk about Sigma brushes. Sigma brushes is something that I've used on my channel literally since my very first video, and I'm not saying that I use them in every single video, but I've used them for a while because obviously I used them, you know, before I started my YouTube channel. But I love Sigma brushes because I think that they're great quality and they're also very affordable. Also, especially this time of year, I feel like you'll be able to find them on sale, whether it be the specific brush or like 40% off your order or even a percentage off your order and free shipping. I don't know about you, but personally, I really do not like paying for shipping. Sigma is great quality and they're affordable, so I just wanted to recommend three of my, you know, top eye brushes. I have, obviously, I have other eye brushes that I really love, but I didn't want to, you know, give you like seven options or something like that. So I'm just, I'm just gonna stick with three. This is a great blending brush. If you were only to get one, honestly, I would just get this one because you could grow your collection slowly but if you don't have a, the best quality brush, I feel like you could always save it with blending. So this is the Sigma E40 blending brush. Once again, all of these items will be linked in the description box down below, but I highly recommend the Sigma E40 blending brush because it is looser. They have another blending brush that I do have. I believe that's the Sigma E45, but it's a little denser, so you know it wouldn't disperse the color as much, and there's a time and place for each. But if you were to just get one, I would recommend this guy right here because it's very soft. I've had it for years and it's still in great condition and it does a really, really good job at blending out your eye 
I, eyeshadow. That's the word I'm looking for. The next one is a great one that I like to use for my outer corner. I didn't use it today, unfortunately, but just, you know, look past lamp. This does a great job for applying like your outer corner color. You can also apply your crease color with this as well. And I love this because it's so soft and flexible that it, I don't know, to me it's like forgiving and it does a really great job at applying your eyeshadow. This is the Sigma E47 and this is another great brush for applying eyeshadow. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Maybe you already have an e Sigma E40. If you want to purchase both of these, these would also be a great gift. And the next one is a good one for your all over lid color. Also, I like to use this for highlighting my brow bone. This is the Sigma E52, another great, this is like a kind of a larger dense shader brush. It's very versatile. Obviously, you know, I use this for my brow bone as well. So I would only like apply eyeshadow at the very tip, but if I'm applying it all over my lid, I might more apply it on more of the brush. Another good quality brush that I've had for a really long time. And I think that this trio would be a really good kind of like beginner eyeshadow um, starter kit almost. I know that they have kits. So just personally, I recommend these brushes. So that's why I didn't necessarily recommend a specific set um, on the Sigma website, but I love these. And I think that they're like a good little starter trio and just like a really, really good gift because especially for the person who kind of wants to expand their makeup collection, they might not know where to start or makeup brushes just might be something that they don't buy for themselves. So I highly, highly, highly recommend the, those Sigma brushes. The next thing I want to talk about is a great makeup brand and that is Glam Glow. Glam Glow is a really good and I feel like a more of an, a luxury brand, at least that's how I kind of view it because they are more expensive, but they're really great quality. So they actually have a set where you can get, I believe it's it's either one or two of the bubble sheet masks and then a hydrating mask for $19, which is a good deal because I believe individually each mask is $9. Yes, $9 for one mask. But I think that it's a nice little luxury gift and something definitely I feel like, you know, people might not buy for themselves. Glam Glow is a great brand. I love especially the Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Mask because that is seriously, that mask gets my skin like the cleanest feeling that I ever feel. I just, my skin always feels so clean after using them and it's a great, great item. And I think that getting that little set is a nice deal because you can also save money. They also have an option of the uh, Glam Glow Eye Mask, like they have a set of three of the She Eye Masks, which I haven't personally used, but based on the fact that I have used other Glam Glow products and I have liked them, I would also recommend that if they maybe aren't, you know, like an all over face sheet mask. The eye mask is also a good option and I believe they're about the same price, if not the exact same price. Once again, of course, they will be linked in the description box. The next thing is a little bit more of a splurge item. But that is, they also have a set of the Glam Glow Super Mud, which I have tried, but I don't own the full, like, full tub because it's literally $59 just for that. But it is such, such a great treatment, especially if you have acne or if you just want to kind of, you know, keep your skin in check every now and then. I love that mask and it's great. So they have a set where you get the full size of the Super Mud. Then you also get a sample size of a toner and a sample size of like a high of a illuminator and you also get one bubble sheet mask now i will say personally i have used the illuminator and it wasn't my favorite product in the world but that doesn't mean that you won't like it you might love it but even if you don't like the illuminator i still think it's a great deal because especially at this time hopefully it's still on this sale whenever I upload this video. But at this time, you can actually get that set for $55, which is cheaper than if you were to buy the mask by itself. So, you know, you can maybe get the illuminator to someone else. Maybe they would like it if you don't personally like it because you can actually get the full size Glam Glow or they could, you know, you're getting this as a gift. If they could give it to somebody else if they don't specifically like it and they would still get a full size of the Super Mud, a oxygenating bubble sheet mask, great product. And then I haven't used the toner, but you know, hopefully they would like that as well. And I, I don't know, I kind of think I want to ask for that for Christmas because it's a really, it's a really great, great little set. It's a great little deal. If you want to see more in depth, the other beauty items that I recommend from this previous month, as well as they would make great gifts as well, uh, click this link over here. That is my November favorites, but I really go a little bit more in depth on those specific items and they would also make great Christmas gifts. Once again, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video.